TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are. Not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, you see it, little warning screen and things of that nature. Um, just in case, man, don't forget we do got Patreon.com. That's where we watch stuff that we cannot watch on YouTube, such as Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? Peaky Blinders. Uh, what's the car stuff? The car show with the old people, the old dude, that one. I feel I always forget the name of that show when I want to say it. Anyway, man, we also got uh, Twitch.com. That's where you can catch any live. The username's at the bottom of the screen. This is UK Drill Plug. St UK Drill Plug still does not have 10K subs. I don't understand. I don't understand. If you watch a channel enough where it keeps repeating on your feed, Make sure you're sub because it, it it's a trophy for the for the person that's making a video. Like after a thousand subs, it, all right, whatever. But like the number means something to the person making the videos. Like they might say it doesn't, but it does. Get the man he the 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 the, the number he deserves. In my opinion, the Battle of Brixton, Cyrek Bully, <laughs> verse one fifty. Talk to me, man. Talk to me. Where's my warning screen? I mean, where is the... Oh, there copyright go. disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. Now, recently on this channel I have been discussing UK drill beefs around South London. This mostly due to South London having some of the most dangerous gangs in and around London, with the likes of 6, 7 and 150 having notorious beef, LTH and UTH also having a deadly beef, which is another rivalry I made a video on, and recently, Serac and 150, which hasn't really been talked about. However, the beef between these two street gangs has become very violent in recent years, resulting in multiple people being stabbed and shot, and over three people being killed all within a year. Now, this gang beef is based in South London, particularly the London Borough of Lambeth, which has even been ranked within the top 10 most dangerous boroughs within London. Lambeth's crime rate is around 132 crimes per 1,000 people, which is surprisingly high considering the population of Lambeth is around 328,000. Lambeth is also home to over 10 gangs that often fight over territory and drugs around the area. Some of these gangs include 6-7, Harlem Spartans, LTH, and 410. Now, 150 is a large street gang based around the Angel Town estate. However, right, they also right. have territory in the neighboring Loughborough estate. The 150 gang has also gone by GBG in recent years, which stands for Get Back Gang. The Angel Town area has seen many gangs on the estate, with decades of history and rivalry occurring in and around this area. One of the first gangs based on the Angel Town estate would be referred to as 28s. The membership of this gang wasn't only based around the Angel Town estate, but instead the entirety of Lambeth, which included Brixton, Clapham, Tulse Hill, and Stockwell. This gang was active during the late 1980s and early 1990s. 1990s. However, in the mid-1990s, a new crew would be formed. This gang would be referred to as PDC, or Peel Dem Crew. The youths that made this gang would mostly rep the young generation of 28s before PDC was created. Now, around the early 2000s, the PDC gang would get close with other gangs in the area. They would also start to go by gas, as they had become aligned with other gangs in the area, creating the Alliance Gas Gang. The gangs included OC from Myatt's Field, which has become known today as 410. Another gang was MZ, or Murder Zone, which has come to beef 150 and is well known nowadays as Serac, which is the beef I'll be discussing today. In recent Serac years, the original gas gang name would die out with one. I ain't gonna lie, Serac. Serac Bully, they got a hard song. I don't know nothing about the beef, but that song is. That's a good one. <laughs> 
50 being the new generation of youngers, with this set being a direct relation to Gas Gang, with them sharing the same rivals and affiliates as they did years prior. Popular members of 150 include M24, Styx, and M Dard. However, we can't talk about 150 without talking about their main opposition. Sirak is a small street gang based around the Moorlands estate and the Southwick house. This gang is based around the Summerleaton estate within Brixton SW9. The Sirak gang also goes by Siru and Rack. This gang would be a younger generation to an older gang referred to as MZ, or Murder Zone. MZ was originally a part of the Gas Alliance, being allied with nearby 150 in the mid-2000s. However, following the breakdown of Gas Gang, MZ would become a more tight-knit gang, and would start to go by Siru or Sirak around the early 2010s. This generation of Sirak would cut all affiliation with surrounding gangs, and only have a loose affiliation with Harlem Spartans in Kennington. Sirak has become known to hold their own beefing over 10 surrounding gangs in the Brixton area. Sirak have beef with 150, 6, 7, and LTH. Notable members of Sirak include SR, Trap SG, and Doubleback. However, you may be asking why both 150 and Sirak have a deadly rivalry with each other. Now, during the times right. that Gas Gang was most prominent, MZ or Sirak and 150 would actually be affiliated, with them sharing the same beef and being allied. It's always like that, man. They always start affiliated, but then something happens to get some inner, 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 inner mingling beef. Pause. Wow. That's crazy. Pause. Um, and then it just messes up the whole dynamic. However, it would be around 2011 that MZ would lose a prominent member, this being a member referred to as Josie. He would sadly pass away as a result of a car crash. This would affect Brixton gang members, as Josie was actually a loved member of MZ, with him even being close to popular 150 member Sneakbo. This death would affect Sirak members especially, as Josie was actually very prominent around the Summerleaton estate. Around two years after the death of Josie, members of Gas Gang and members of Siru would spot a group of rivals within a hospital. A fight would break out between the gangs. In the with hospital? this fight getting violent when knives would be produced. Police would arrive at the hospital? Arrive at the scene moments later and would arrest a member of Sirak known as Five Star. They would also arrest Sneakbo from 150 or Gas Gang who would go on to allegedly snitch on the other Sirak men. Oh, God. Jeez. Alleged. This is all alleged, but having that snitch allegation on you is... is, is it's, it's, it's not hard to discredit, but for people that are not in the streets and like perpetuate beef, it's hard for them to stop the like stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because paperwork is paperwork at the end of the day, but like paperwork will discredit or give something credit. But the media be keeping stuff alive. <laughs> Members involved. Five Star would go on to the mock internet. Sneakbo for snitching, with him even posting the court papers on Twitter saying, At Sneakbo, why are you doing this? Oh, dang. Oh. I think it's just. Oh, man. I thought we were. Poor people can't be alleged, but... Boys, but I guess you with the pigs. SMH, you fuck snitch. Following this incident, 150 would be created hailing from the original gas gang. Due to the split in Brixton, gangs had to choose who they would back in the beef, with a lot of nearby gangs backing 150 and beefing gangs like Sirak, resulting in Sirak basically being an EBK set, beefing nearly every gang in Brixton. The Sirak gang would also... I like that energy. Uh, what was I saying? Mm. So they split the they split because somebody had a snitch allegation and people stood behind a snitch allegation. Is that what I mean? It's still it's all alleged to me. I don't know the truth to none of this. I'm just I'm just trying to uh, I'm just trying to understand what I'm hearing. So start going by 727 around the mid 2010s, as 727 spelt on a trap phone actually spells out the word rack. Now, in August 2015, a member of Sirak known as Fox would be on the lurk for ops. Armed with a knife, he would spot a group of 150 members at a house party within Brixton. One of these members was known as Jay Munna. He would rep the CMG gang in Loughborough. The CMG gang is actually a subset under the 150 gang, with it often being said to be the exact same gang. Anyways, a fight would ensue between the members. Fox would pull up in a car 
car and would run Jay Munna over crushing his skull. Sadly, Jay Munna would be pronounced dead on the scene, with police discovering him moments later. Following this, a murder investigation would be launched. Fox would quickly be arrested and would originally be charged. That's, that's a manslaughter charge, but, but that's crazy with murder. However, this charge would be dropped and he would be charged with manslaughter. He yeah. would later be found guilty and sentenced for the murder. Rest in peace, Jay Munna. Following R. the R. death R. of Jay Munna, it would be around 2016 and 17 that the Gang 150 would become very prominent within the UK drill scene, with them having a deadly rivalry with nearby Harlem Spartans and 6-7. Around this time, shootings and stabbings would be very common between the gangs, with a member of Serac named SR even being arrested after he recorded and posted himself dancing with a sh so this beef is almost i mean all these beefs is, from the outside looking in it's silly but like to them it's, it's serious you know what i'm saying and i understand you know i get it but if somebody has the snitch allegation aren't you supposed to de-recruit them like they, they could have just de-recruited him bro and just just went on with they everything could have been cool no blood was shed, no life was lost, nobody's female was getting ran through, nobody's emotions were torn, you know what I'm saying? It's like treason, snitching is like treason, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, anyway shotgun on social media. He would be arrested following this and would be sentenced to four and a half years for being in possession of a sawn off shotgun. Whilst many incidents happened between 150 and Serac in the early days, a lot of them are unknown. However, what is known is that on the 8th of July 2016, SR or Stabber would actually be shot in the head by alleged 150 members. He would be rushed to hospital following the shooting and despite his wounds, Stabber would make a recovery in hospital. Around July 2018, a member of Harlem Spartans known as Lats would attempt to ride on to opposition territory with a Moscow 17 member. However, the ride would turn left when Lats would attempt to shoot at 150 members and the gun would jam. The 150 member would then jump at him, stabbing Lats multiple times. With Lats being pushed off the back of the moped following the stabbing, Lats would sadly be pronounced dead yeah, moments later that. with a murder crazy. investigation being launched. This saw the arrest of a 150 member who would later be released due to him acting in self-defense as Lats tried shooting first. Following the death of Lats, members of Serac and Harlem Spartans would be mourning his loss especially with a member of Serac known as R1 even being cousins with Lats. This meaning that the death of Lats would affect him in a big way. R1 would seek retaliation following the death of his cousin and would often ride out looking for opposition. And on the 21st of February 2019, an alleged affiliate of 150 known as Thumps would sadly fall victim to the streets and R1 would find himself behind bars facing life in prison. On the 21st of February 2019, members of Serac would be armed and looking for ops. This included a member of Serac known as R1. R1 would notice Thumps, who was a 150 or Cassava member. Thumps was standing near Lipton Youth Center within Brixton. Thumps would see R1. He would then begin to run into the main room of the Lipton Youth Center in an attempt to escape R1. However, whilst Thumps was running, he would trip and fall to the ground. Thumps would manage to get up and would run a few more feet before falling to the ground once again. R1 would catch up and would stab. How? Twice? It's like a Jason movie, man. And you that little that, that little woman that always fall two, 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 three times. Ab thumps multiple times in the thigh. Following this attack, R1 would flee the scene, with police and paramedics arriving moments later. However, despite the attempts of medical professionals, thumps would sadly be pronounced dead moments later as a yeah, result man, of man, that thigh hit is crucial, man. This is one thing I'm to don't lack out here if you in beef. Don't be wearing flip-flops. Don't be wearing your shoes untied. If you in real beef, tie up your shoes. <laughs> it might be it might let save your life later. And y'all know my position. Run. If you outnumbered and you outweaponed, run. Preserve yourself blood loss caused by the stab wounds to his thigh, with a murder investigation being launched following this. This investigation would see the arrest of R1 who repped the Serac gang. R1 would be charged with the murder and would be found guilty. He would be sentenced to life with a minimum of 18 years in prison. Rest in peace, Thumps. Following the death- R.I.P. 
depth of thumps, members of Serac would begin to get active within the UK drill scene. This included a young member known as SR, previously Stabber. SR would drop a UK drill anthem titled Brucky in 2020. This was dropped following his release from prison for the gun charge he caught in 2018. This song would gain a lot of attention and currently sits on around 5.2 million views. However, despite Serac starting to gain major attention, the beef was still continuing within the streets. It would be around this time that shootings and stabbings would become very common in the streets. An example of this would be when Serac members would shoot at 150 and 410 members, with it being alleged that the members would flee leaving each other. This incident is often referenced within Serac songs. Anyways, Serac and 150 would be very consistent within the UK drill scene in 2020 and 2021, with rappers like M24 blowing up after dropping his hit song, We Don't Dance, which gained loads of attention in 2019 and 2020, with the song currently sitting on around 43 million views. Serac would also be gaining underground attention within the scene, with SR really putting on for the gang, dropping a song titled Ring in July 2020, with this song gaining around a million views, although it would be around three months later that SR would drop one of the biggest UK drill songs till date, this being Welcome to Brixton, which would peak 93rd in the official singles charts. This song would gain a massive amount of attention on TikTok, with the song sitting on around 74 million views and around 211 million Spotify streams gaining a new level of success. However, all of this attention- What happened? Y'all had it! <laughs> and I have never reacted to this song. Trust me, I will after this video. But, like, I love this song. <laughs> I just felt like, man, Joe, uh, hey, y'all tweet. Bro, you got plaques in your hand. I understand the beef is still broiling, but, like, man. If I was SR, boy... You know how smooth I would have relocated. Ah, oh, man, it's up. I'm up. I'm in the lab. ...on the Serac Collective and SR wouldn't change the fact that there was an active war going on in the streets of Brixton, and it would be around this same... Not with me. <laughs> I get it. Hey, listen. Hey, I'm the opportunity now. I know when you in this, like, I, I understand. Like, I'm speaking, like, insanely right now, but, like... Nobody's bigger than the gang. I get it. No matter what your position in, world, in the world is. But at the same time, man, this your money getter. This your, this your... Same time that three Serac members would catch and stab a CMG 150 member multiple... You gotta keep him out of it. If you can, to your best ability. Times, emergency services would arrive at the scene Go of rap. the stabbing, with the CMG member being taken to hospital and being released only days later. All of this violence between 150 and Serac would mean that anyone could become victim to the streets. And this would be proven in 2021, when a loved member of 150 would be shot and killed while standing with two girls, one being his sister. On the 13th of September, 2021, alleged members of the Serac gang and alleged members of Harlem Spartans would travel around Brixton in search of rivals. They would spot a loved member of 150 known as Bally who would be standing with two girls the members would decamp the car and I shoot multiple this. times toward Bally the, the two the girls, girls he would be standing with would be hit by the oncoming yeah, bullets I'm Bally would also be hit however his wounds would prove to be deadly as he would be pronounced dead moments later police oh. and emergency services would be called to the scene the two girls would also be taken to hospital and would be released days later after they were treated for the wounds one of these girls would be Bally's sister luckily both girls would survive however the shooting of Bally's sister is often wrapped about by Serac members. An example of this would it's be negative. when a Serac member known as Trap SG would rap on a song titled Freestyle, rapping, We got the brother and the sister, like Ferb and Candace. You men would have thought we planned this. Following the shooting of Bally, a murder investigation would be launched. This saw yes. the arrests of prominent right, Harlem B. Spartans members and Serac members a day after the murder. However, these members would be released due to a lack of evidence, with the murder of Bally being unsolved till this day. Rest in peace, Bally. Now, following the death of Bally, members of 150 and Serac would continue Continue to diss each other within the music scene, with other gangs getting involved in the war. An example of this was a gang from Tulse Hill known as LTH. LTH would get involved when members would ride out onto Serac territory and would shoot a Serac member in the head. This incident is often referenced in bars, with Serac members also starting to deny the incident with Trap SG, even dropping a song titled Freestyle, where he would rap. They didn't headshot Snow. We done do road way worse when we pulled up in Layton. Other incidents would take place around 2021 and 2022, with a member of Six seven even being robbed and beaten up by Harlem Spartan and Serac members, which is crazy as some Harlem Spartan members are still cool with some six seven members. Anyways, the beef between Serac.
Iraq and 150 would continue with members often clashing in Brixton. However, it wouldn't be until 2023 when the beef would explode once again, with three people losing their life in a one-month time period, with these incidents turning South London into a war zone. The first incident would take place on the 4th of September 2023. On the 4th of September 2023, a member of 150 known as Skengroy would be walking down Morrison Road within Angel Town. However, what Skengroy wasn't aware of was the fact that alleged Serac members would be lurking around Angel Town looking to catch any rival. The two alleged Serac members would spot Skengroy and would begin to chase him. Skengroy was chased down Morrison Road. However, despite the attempts Skengroy made to flee, he would be caught by the members and would be stabbed multiple times. Following this attack, the two attackers would flee. That's the thing, man. In the UK, you can't even... If, you, if you're involved in the UK, you cannot be out of shape. Because your ops are probably fast, ex-football players, like you get me? Lee leaving Skengroy to die. Skengroy would make an attempt to get home. However, he would collapse only moments later in his mum and sister's arms. Skengroy would be pronounced dead on the scene moments later, with police and emergency services also arriving on the scene. Following the stabbing of Skengroy, a murder investigation would be launched. This investigation hasn't seen any arrests, with police even making a call to the public for any information, with them posting a CCTV video showing the alleged attackers fleeing from the crime scene moments later, whilst many people speculate that Serac members killed Skeng Roy until someone has been charged for the murder and found guilty. I guess we will never know. Rest in peace, Skeng Roy. Following the death of Skeng Roy, people that repped 150 and allied gangs would begin to pay their respects to the fallen member on social media. However, people would also be dissing loads, with people even starting to tell M24 to get back for Skeng Roy, which is crazy. M24 would actually respond to these people quoting his own lyrics, stating, they hating on me or they're dissing? That not my slime? About I ain't try get back for my lil homie, they must have lost their mind, and it would be only days later that 150 would get their get back resulting in another member involved in the beef losing their life. On the 3rd of October 2023, under a month after the death of Skeng Roy, an alleged affiliate of Serac known as KK or Smalls would be standing on Cold Harbor Lane within Brixton at around- I still believe M24 could like really like have his way in the rap game. He just gotta put his put foot to the pedal and never let up like you know what i'm saying like he'd be taking months off and 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 coming back giving us some mediocre stuff bro 5 p.m. Alleged 150 members would pull up and would start to attack KK. The attackers would stab KK multiple times in front of shoppers. The attackers would flee following this stabbing leaving KK to die on the scene. Paramedics would arrive on the scene and would attempt to save KK. However, despite their best attempts, he would sadly be pronounced dead only moments later. Rest in peace KK or Smalls. Following the death of KK, members of Serac would actually go quiet for a few days, with nothing being posted by any members. However, around five days following the death of KK, a member of Serac known as Trap SG, and another named Dottie, would actually start to grieve the loss of KK on social media. The Serac members would also start claiming that KK wasn't a Serac member, but was affiliated, with Trap SG posting a photo at KK's memorial with the caption, Bro coulda chose this life, but chose not. Rest easy, my boy. Whilst it's not known if KK- So it's tough being affiliated, man. It was actually involved with- if you if if you if you got if you're in a, if you're affiliated and you got homies that are active, your ops don't care. If <laughs> them your homies, you one and the same. I keep telling people this, man. With the Serac gang, what is known is that KK would often be seen in group photos with the gang. It would see what I'm saying. You're in group photos with them. You're one of them. To the ops, you one of them also be around this time that a 16 year old would be stabbed and if you ever was to go to jail you and claim oh i'm nobody but then you get to kicking it with them inside you come on man multiple times in Brixton. This was thought to have been an act of retaliation, with this just showing how dangerous the beef was getting between both of these sides. It would actually be two days after the death of KK that a member of 37 closely allied with 150 would be shot dead. However, this incident was thought to have been due to in-house beef within the 37 gang. Two decent paramedics would arrive shortly after the attack and would attempt to save Reeks. However, despite their best attempts, Reeks would sadly be pronounced dead moments later, with a third murder investigation being launched following this. This investigation 
investigation saw the arrests of five people who had a connection to the shooting. However, since these arrests were made, no one has actually been found guilty, with a trial being yet to take place. The motive for the shooting of Reeks was actually an internal dispute within the 37 gang, with it being alleged that Reeks had stolen cash and other things from fellow 37 members who would seek revenge. The reason I included the death of Reeks within this video is the fact that Sirach members are often seen dissing him, just due to Reeks being affiliated with 150 members and beefing Sirach. Rest in peace, Reeks. All of these incidents between Sirach and 150 would result in surrounding gangs also getting involved in the beef. An example of this would be an LTH member known as G41, who upon getting released from prison would post on Snapchat writing, Man come home to bear new packs, Skeng Roy, Smalls and Reeks, for f**k's sakes we smoking on the hill. This just shows how deadly the beef has become. However, since the death of Reeks, no other major incidents have occurred, with many shootings and stabbings occurring in the streets, but not really being reported in the news. If you learned anything from this video, make- Uh, I learned that R.I.P. T.L.L.E. would like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post.